What is up? I'm Wanted Turtle, and today we have a bit of a different video. We're gonna do a review of one of the new grading services uh, that's come out, um, kind of like in the vacuum, that is like when PSA and BGS shut down, uh, and that is TGA, or the Grading Authority. Uh, so I think it was around, uh, it was August, which I submitted, a, I did a 50 card submission, and I just got my cards back yesterday, so I kind of want to give you my thoughts about the new company, and kind of like what my experience has been in recommendations. Uh, so let's just start showing off some cards, and then we'll kind of get into some of the details. Uh, but here we go, we got a Rayquaza EX with a Near Mint 7, so I submitted a kind of a mix of modern cards, uh, some vintage, and then some Japanese as well, or primarily uh, modern Japanese promos. Um, and as you can see, so a couple things, you know, they got, you can add like the different colors. And uh, so my thought around that, it's kind of cool. And so I did it based on like the type. The only thing I'll say about the colors, which I'm not too crazy about, is that like, let's say you have your own grading scheme and then you pick up, whether it's through trade or you buy on eBay, uh, another card to complete your collection, but they have a different color scheme that could be you know a little off-putting when you know all everything is not consistent uh, but Let's talk about some of the pros So probably the most important thing would be like all right How much does it cost and how long does it take uh, for reference the last set of PSA cards? I got at a decent price kind of like the bulk price it took over a year to get it back so all right, how much does TJ cost so this is uh, my form folded it to hide my personal information. So I submitted 50 cards at $15 a card, so very nice. And uh, so after insurance and shipping, came to $815. Um, and this was the scheme I did for uh, the colors of the slabs. So it did, basically did it based on type. And then how about like when it comes to filling out the form, if you ever use PSA, they kind of have their website, kind of provides like a nice tool to help you search uh, for the card that you're submitting, TGA is very much a manual process. And so I did it on the computer, so I was just filling out the P, uh, the PDF. And I did have trouble. The reason I had to put that in that comment about what color of the case I want, um, the PDF, basically when I modified two rows with different colors, like the entire column just became that color, which is why I kind of had that comment. Um, but all in all, so a little bit manual, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, probably took me like, I don't know, 30 minutes to get everything done for all 50 cards. I had to look some stuff up, but you know, that part wasn't too bad. Uh, turnaround time. So the website really boasts like a 30 day turnaround time, uh, but it is business days. So let's just talk calendar days. It took me two months to get these cards back from when I submitted it. So like, while I feel like the website is, well, it's not misleading, but it's longer than you might expect. Uh, let's compare to PSA, which again, uh, I feel like typical turnaround time for cards that I sent out uh, before they shut down is about a year. So uh, I would see those are like the biggest pros. Uh, very reasonable price, you know, a little over $15 a card after shipping and insurance, uh, and then that, that two month turnaround. So, and actually one other detail, which I do appreciate it as a, as a nice touch is, as you can see, the, these are all in like this little sleeve. Uh, actually, we'll take it out because I actually want to point something else about that as well. So basically these, um, a lot of people put their PSA cards in them and these came with it. So I do appreciate that. And let's talk about the case itself. So obviously this thing kind of stands out, um, but one thing that I actually really like is here's a PSA card, a nice Zapdos uh, PSA 10, is that the case is basically the same. And uh, if you do take it out of the case or those sleeves, you know, they, they storage wise, they can go right in with your PSA cards Let's say you have like I don't know, a base set completed um, of mixture of TJ and PSA, you can still store them together. And I actually really like that they're exactly the same or more importantly, they stack with PSA. So if you have a lot of PSA cards, it'll go nicely with that collection. Um, so this sleeve was a nice touch. Uh, one thing about when you have your cards sleeved, here's just a couple more, is that they come actually a little slippery. <laughs> in, uh, so most of my cards aren't actually in those sleeves, so they really lock in place. And then if I'm moving them, uh, they're less likely to fall. I actually did drop some of these when I was bringing them up to the office. And uh, one one other pro is that they passed the drop test. Uh, a bunch of these cards did drop from, I don't know, let's say uh, three feet in the air. Uh, they're fine. If you step on it, they'll probably break. But, um, you know, I, so I feel like the case quality is 
uh, actually right where I want it and again they're almost exactly the same as PSA which I think is a huge plus um, one minor touch is like they included in your package like little cards like oh what was their favorite card I believe they select selected this as their favorite card a Deoxys from the Delta species or Holland Phantoms the Delta species era all right so here are the last of the uh, more modern cards this is a pretty cool EV championship card Dark Tyranitar. So as you can see, all my grades are pretty low. Um, you know, the whole idea here was to fill out this service. So I didn't send anything. Uh, most of the cards I wasn't expecting, like any 10s, which we actually didn't get, uh, which we'll talk about as well. All right, so here's some modern cards, or vintage cards, rather. We got some jungle. All right, so this 0.5 is going to be a kind of contentious point from my point of view, kind of what I see as one of the cons. All right, so, you know, they do have like these 0.5s. I think the only 0.5 grade that I do not mind is 9.5, where it's better than a nine, but it's not perfect. There is some really minor flaw, which we're bringing it down to a 9.5. And I think that really rises, you know, makes the bar super high for a 10 and makes those 10 special. So I'm all on board with 9.5. 7.5, 8.5, very much less so uh, I feel like as a collector if you're gonna complete any kind of set uh, here we have some Japanese or English promos some of the older ones we got two muse oh, the 7.5 and so like let's you know let's say this was a, a 7 and a 7.5 like I could see myself wanting to complete a 7 collection and an 8 collection I don't really want to do like these 0.5 collections. So again, 9.5 I think is totally warranted uh, just to differentiate between a nine, which maybe there's a bunch of nines, but then, you know, that are definitely not tens, but they're better than a typical nine. We have a nice Evu promo that I bet uh, Rich Omega would appreciate. Shout out to you. And all right, so now we got some Japanese cards. Here's a good example. Uh, so this got 9.5. And I was actually disappointed. I was hoping to get at least 110, but let's just say, you know, there is, it's not perfect. Uh, so I think 9.5 is very warranted. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if most of my 9.5s, if I were to send in the PSA, they would get 10s. But hey, you know what? This is, look, we have very high standards. And if you do get a 10, it's a very special card. Uh, so I sent in a bunch of these red Pikachus and did not manage to get a 10. Got some double a blaze Rishi's arts a 9 and a 9.5 and then some screen promos so this one I do feel like the center is probably not perfect um, but yeah some minor defects preventing it from getting that perfect 10 another con of this service was here is a picture of what my box looked like when I first opened it um, so, you know, when you, when you spend a good amount of money, again, mine costs over $800 total, uh, to get your cards graded and then you see them being sent back in this fashion, that really kind of turned me off. Uh, you know, PSA does put each, uh, whatever, like up to 20 cards in one of those boxes and then ships you a bunch of those boxes. So, you know, the movement should be minimal. Um, so very was not impressed when I saw how this was packaged. All right. So here's my last set of cards. This is all base set stuff. And uh, so spoiler alerts, I probably will use TGA again. And that will probably be just to complete a base set collection. Uh, this Alakazam, actually my girlfriend's like, why did you send this card? <laughs> it is uh, very appropriately a four probably. Uh, it is pretty beat up. And uh, yeah, that was my lowest grade, but we did send in the big boys. We got the Blastoise right here, 7.5, which I am fine with. Uh, again, most of the base set stuff, um, you know, I was pretty sure it wouldn't get like PSA wise, eight, probably eight would be like the top. Um, so all the grades I'm pretty, you know, no complaints. And again, I'll probably submit the rest of the basic cards just so I can complete that set. Again, not trying to complete any complete sets with the grades, especially when they differentiate, you know, between seven, 7.5. That would just be quite the hassle. Uh, so, you know, I think, um, you know, coming out of this, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about, all right. You know, do I recommend this service and kind of like what do I feel like are good use cases for grading TGA? And uh, actually one more con that we'll just quickly hit is 
All right, if you want to get these cards graded so that you can sell them like on eBay or something. Uh, so at the time of filming, I did a quick search for a Pokemon TGA. I just did 10. So like uh, maybe that's not the best thing to search for. Maybe I could search for 9.5. It's probably nine, a lot of 9.5s. And available, there were only what was it 16 listings TGA 10 and sold listings were only seven. Uh, so this is a very new grading service and it's still kind of establishing establishing itself in the secondary market uh, but there's just not a lot of uh, kind of like market data to you know versus PSA which obviously there's a lot more um, so with that in mind you know my recommendation would be uh, I feel like TGA is great for look I just want to get this card slabbed I find the case really cool uh, so it's protected and Let's say you know let's say you have a base set collection you want to complete like i do but i don't think that they're nines or tens uh because if you think you maybe have a 10 i do think it's worth waiting uh you might have to wait a couple years until they psa finally reopens so you can submit at a reasonable price and then you get it back uh but i do think it's worth it if you think you have a psa 10 because if you do ever do decide to resell it uh you know there's a much more established uh, demand for PSA 10 but probably versus these TGA 10s even you know a couple years down the line um, I think modern maybe is okay I mean I feel like there's this weird time where a lot, all modern cards you know like anything that's not like the main chase card of a set no one's gonna submit those for $150 especially if maybe they'll get a 9 or 10 uh, so modern cards maybe is a little different where you can submit um, you know nice you know cards that do have a chance of getting that 10 but just remember that uh tj probably has a higher bar actually psa has been pretty strict now in recent times um but uh you know i think tj is really going for you know uh where you know bgs is really hard to get that 10 or you know that black label of cgc i find that is very difficult to get a 10 as well and i find that that's what tga is going for as well Okay, so in conclusion, um, I would say I'm happy with how this turned out. Uh, definitely not perfect. There, was, there are some things that I would prefer to be done differently, especially around like the 0.5s. It's probably my biggest gripe. Um, but hey, you know what? There's not too many good options out there right now. Or rather, I think I'll, I'll probably try some other ones. I think there's like DSG. Uh, that might try um, CGC I've never tried but I think their like turnaround time is over 200 business days so at that point like we're talking a year um, again I will submit to them again just because that price point is good as well as the turnaround time just to complete that base set and um, but uh, yeah if you found this review helpful let me know what your comments are down below or if there's another service that you would suggest and I'll give them a shot uh, you know, obviously not submitting anything to PSA right now. Uh, so, and I do want to continually to get more cards kind of like graded. So that's definitely something I'm open to doing and can do another review like this. So as always, guys, that's all I have for you today. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Wanted Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.